Hey everyone, welcome to my first cooking video. We're doing a lazy meal mashup. We're gonna be having potatoes. Well, we're gonna make the mash. So from the table we'll make mash, we'll be putting bacon fruit and also beef mince or whatever kind of mince that you like. We will also be using a single red bell pepper or how many you like, single onion, salt and pepper to taste and a bunch of spring onion. Right, let's cut the potatoes first. Cut them up in the, any shape that you like. Don't do it like me. I have a terrible knife, sorry about that. I don't have a chopping board, so I'm using this tray. So just put your potatoes in a pot, uh, cover it with water for around 20 to 30 minutes, or however long that you like your potatoes off for, for your mash. Now for the bell pepper, what you want to do is just push in and twist or pull out like I did. You will get most of the seeds here. So just to uh, thin that, or keep it in your zip for something. I don't know if you can, but most we like that. Take out any seeds unless you want to want them kept in, of course. Either tear it up like I'm doing, or or just cut, cut, uh, cut them up. Oh, that one keep on the bench. Put a bit of fell on the ground. Right, move, moving on to the onion. I will end up caught myself, I think.
Got a bad idea. Can I dance that way? It's alright. <laughs> you know, I have one of these, uh, like a greater tent. Let's just use that. That'll be easier. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it did grey up pretty up good. Okay, you can use that. Put that on top just. I got the last bit of a knife though. Okay, so, so far we have a red bell pepper, grated onion, <laughs> some chopped onion, we have potatoes, they're on the boil for around 25 minutes. All of this will be added towards the end and mixed down through the mash. Moving on to the spring onions, which is the easiest one to do actually. So these furry bits, we'll just take off the furry bits and we'll be right back. Nice. Right, so now that we have our spring onion, we're just going to take the individual bits. Now, most people actually bin this white with uh, this white part here, but it actually has more, most of the flavour in. So you, you use all that white bit, see this little green bit with like a lime coloured. This part is actually the bit that you're gonna actually not use. So the whole of the green, most of the white, and you're gonna stop this bit here. This part you can't really eat. So just use your scissors and just cut away. We'll add this in the mash towards the end as well. So just that bit there, that is a very, 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 very left with basically. You could add it in, but I wouldn't. It doesn't taste very, very nice. that part you can just bin or compost whichever one that you, you do So Lucas, are you looking forward to your dinner today? Just a hmm? Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, just a now. No.
Right, I will cut the rest of these up and I'll be right, right back. Now that we've cut up all the spring onion, the bell pepper, grated part of an onion, sliced the other part of the onion. Right, just put that away to inside a bowl. So keep that for later. Get that that way up, put it on the ground. So, this is what you'll have mixed through badly, but so that's what we're going to put through the mash and the mince with the bacon bits, which is actually next. Where's my knife? So I actually have uh, streaky bacon, nope, oh, streaky bacon, smoked works or smoked, or you can choose any, uh, anything else if you don't like bacon. So for this part, we're actually just going to cut the bacon up. If I can with these scissors first. Get a couple of bits just yeah. I'll need to figure out a way to cut this because we're gonna actually want to make it at any small bits on the try and knife. I'm not very good at this business. There we go. Let's take this on that. We'll clean that later. I will need to try and figure out a way to cut a centi bits. I'll be right back. Right, welcome back. Okay, I have figured out a way to cut this because I can't use a knife for some reason. So I'm just using the scissors and I'm just pulling it apart. Oh, that one down Jack will pull apart. It's fine. So just pull the wee bits apart. We do want to use all of this, so. There we go. Just make it a smaller. Smaller chunks. Oh. Pull it into those like smaller chunks like that. That's what we'll be putting through the mash. It doesn't feel particularly nicest, but <laughs> it probably won't look nice either, but it will taste great. I've made this in the uh, in the past. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. A bit more stir. Right, and grab it there. And for the last bit. There we go, just pull that right off. Oh, sorry about that. This is the worst taking video in the world. <laughs> oh. We shall leave it like this. That bit's fine actually. So just move that over. So you've got like smaller chunks. Oh, sorry. 
There we go. So small chunks like that, uh, that'll be fine. Move that for later. I'm just tear it up. There we go. Okay, so most of the preparation work is done. We have our mixed veg, onions, bell pepper, spring onion grated and chopped we also have the bacon bits which we'll be adding towards well the veg will add towards the end the bacon bits we'll, we'll, we'll cook up and put through the mash at the end as well so the only other step while we wait for the uh, potatoes to boil and a turn into mash is the mince or whatever kind of uh, mince that you like I've got beef mince So we will do that with the bacon close to when the potatoes are almost done. That way we can get everything done nice and nice and hot and ready. I'll be right back. Also we will be also we will be finishing off the dish with some cheese. Whichever kind you like. I'm just using a, a British cheddar. And we'll uh, season with salt and black pepper or white pepper if you have that. That is quite nice. Okay, so once your potatoes are done, you take a knife, stab through, make sure it goes clean right through. Don't worry if they're a bit squishy. You just make them however you want. Right back. Okay, the potatoes are drained. Put on whatever thing you like and just mash them up with a fork or any other I keep the skin on mine I like it better that is a lot of mash but it is for two people Once you've mashed up the way you like it, you have a chunky or smooth, whichever way. You can add butter if you like, or you can add milk or whatever else, or leave it as is. I will be adding a bit of butter. Or margarine, whatever you call it. Enough. Oops, do it. Maybe let's put it back. I'm just going to leave mine like that, 
I hope you add me some salt, bro. And black pepper. As much or as little as you like. Do what is to season that good. That'll be enough. Just give it a quick mix through. I'll be right back. I'm going to put the veg in a pan with the mince and the bacon bits. What you're going to do is keep the mince on a high heat for about 10 minutes. So make sure the, the mince is all browned throughout, evenly distributed, put a bit of oil on it and put in some of the veggies as well towards the end. Now that the mince is browned thoroughly, add all your veggies. Cook all your veggies that you have right in the mince and make sure it's salt and pepper to whatever amount that you like. Keep on on about a 3 or a 4 on the hob, so medium, medium to high heat for a couple of minutes until the spring onions to uh, like wilt a little bit. Alright, be right back. The veg in the mince is, oh, the veg in the mince is done and so is the bacon bits. we we'll put a bit of veg in there as well. Salt and pepper to taste. Right, let's put it on top of the mash and split it between me and my flat meat. Right, let's add the mince and the veg on top of the mash. Don't worry, all this food isn't for me, it's for me and my flat flatmate. So we'll split it in a moment. Just need to mix everything all the way through. Thank you. And for the bacon. Right, let's mix all this for you, shall we? This will look horrible, but I guarantee you it will taste amazing. And use a fork. I know, it's a mountain of food. I'll be sharing it with you in a moment, Lucas. Don't worry. Just need to mix with this through. Hey, you know me, my food might not look the best, but it tastes bloody amazing. There we go, everybody. Just mix through the mash. There's a lot of mash we have. I'm going to cut myself with a fork. That would be a new one. Where's your tray, Lucas? Alright, let's get you some food, shall we? I'll just shovel in. <laughs> Yourself. How much more would you like? 
and the more. You're going to charge the bacon. Mm -hmm. Looks good, I think. Right, there you go. This is a Lucas's meal he wanted. It might not look good, but it tastes amazing. Here you go, Lucas. There's your mountain of fish. Jesus Christ. And I'll just have it on the tree. Well. This is a lazy meal and doesn't take very long. Holy Christ. Oh, I almost forgot to add the cheese, the best part. Let's add a big handful, shall we? Just a big handful. I wonder how, I, how I'm skinny. I really do sometimes. Still be mixed. All right, that's perfect, and we'll see. All right, let me just get a bite full of this. I'll get a bit of everything. The mash, the cheese, the pepper, the bacon. Mm -hmm. There we go, you can see it. Mm. Okay, that was good. And that is really good. I'm not just saying that. That is. Mm. Wow. Mmm. That, right. mm. that is real good. So this is it. We are eating. Lucas, can I see your tree, please? That's my tree. And that's his tree. <laughs> He's got so much more food. That's all right. He is a uh, Mr. Muscles kind of person anyway, isn't he? Right, we're gonna watch this film right here and eat this tasty food. Thank you for watching. I hope you smiled and trust me. Trust me, it does look delicious. Amazing. <laughs>